have ambulance in. Is this patient breathing? Yeah. What's wrong with the patient, please? I'm one of the community nurses. I've come out to see a young gentleman who obtained some blood. He's red flagging for sepsis. Right, so we've got a query sepsis with a young gentleman. He's got a nasty infection somewhere, so uh, go and see. Potentially, that patient can be in a life-threatening position if they are septic, which means infection has gone rife and potentially could kill them. Hi there. Where are we left? The one through. Thank you. Straight through. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, mate. I'm Mark. This is Sarah. You're in a bit of a rough way, fella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, just move this out of the way. I'll keep the bowl handy. You still feeling sick? Yeah. Okay, mate. Twenty-one-year-old Alistair recently had an operation on his spine. When a visiting district nurse noticed his high temperature, she rang 999. His mum Anne Marie is with him. So just so we know, the spinal surgery you had, what was that to do with? I fell out my wheelchair and it snapped toward in my back. OK, right. So, how long were you in hospital for? Uh, eight weeks. Alistair has a condition called scoliosis, where the spine curves and twists to the side. Scoliosis is an abnormal growth of the spinal column. The spinal column should usually be straight in the vast majority of people, but in some cases, and in Alistair's case, it actually grows in an S-shaped which causes complications with health. Other than vomiting, how are you actually feeling yourself? Uh, not the best. No. To try and correct the position of his spine, Alistair underwent major surgery when he was 16. Since then, he's been paralysed from the waist down. Whatever they do, it's fine. Is it? Yeah. To look for signs of sepsis, Mark takes Alistair's blood pressure and checks his heart rate. Sitting around about 130 at the moment, which is, which is pretty fast. But more of a concern is your blood pressure is a little bit low, so it would all lead us to think that you've got a, a reasonable infection. Sepsis, also known as blood poisoning, is the immune system's overreaction to an infection. It's a time critical emergency. Low blood pressure and a fast pulse, in Alistair's case, could have been a sign that his body was trying to compensate for something serious going on inside it. Look. How long do you have the fan on for? Oh, wow. yeah, I'm sweating. Any dizziness? Yeah. A lot of dizziness? Yeah. yeah. Do you feel dizzy when you move your head? Um, well, I sat up here. Yeah. That could be your blood pressure, because that's, a, like I said, that's a bit on the low side. Alistair's observations indicated that all was not well at that moment in time. His blood pressure was low, his pulse was high, he got a temperature. These are all red flags towards the sepsis scale. Like I said, because your BP is quite low, your temperature's high. It's a possibility of a serious infection. See if we can make you a bit more comfortable, because we're going to have to get you upright. If left untreated, sepsis can cause organ failure and death within a few hours. So it's vital Alistair is treated in hospital fast. Sharp scratch. Just a bit of paracetamol to start with, and then we'll uh, give you some more fluids after that's gone through. Should make you feel a little bit better. Mark and Sarah give Alistair fluids to raise his blood pressure and paracetamol to help with his pain and temperature. On a scale of 1 to 10 of feeling nauseous and really unpleasant with it, how do you feel? About an 8. OK. Seeing as it's you... <laughs> I've got something I can give you that's going to help with that. Yeah. On Danzatron. Yeah. Anti-nausea one. It takes about 10 minutes sick. and hopefully you're going to feel a lot better. Alistair needed to go to hospital. He was potentially quite poorly. We didn't know in what particular way or what had caused it, but we did know that he needed further tests and examination to discover what it was and treat it. 
a bit of fresh air now. <laughs> It's a three-mile drive to County Hospital in Stafford. Let's call that off. Here, doctors will check if Alistair has sepsis and investigate the cause of his high temperature and heart rate. Alistair, who had a high temperature and a fast heart rate, did have sepsis. He was treated with intravenous antibiotics and is now back home recovering. <laughs> 